Always is, you know, when a new manager comes in, it's always going to be a bit different. Um, but it's exciting, I think. It's a good group of lads, a good few lad new lads as well, you know, a lot of fresh boys. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it and we're all excited. How beneficial is it to you as players that, you know, 99% of you have a relationship with John from a previous manager and also plenty of the under 21s as well? No, it's nice. Uh, John, I can't speak highly enough of him, you know, from what he'd done when he was. From the 21s, even with, under Stephen Kenny, you know he's been class with us. He's he's helped me a lot, so yeah, it's, it's an enjoyable it's an enjoyable experience working with him. What kind of coach is he? How does he differ from Stephen or even from that club level? Uh, it's not even just him, you know. He's brought in good lads as well, so they all seem to gel together. They all seem to want the same thing, and there's a good energy and atmosphere coming from them, which is nice to be working under. We're just chatting to Jay Clear, obviously, so many plays in your position. Mm. I've been keeping an eye on him. How's he getting on? Yeah, he seems to be flying, huh? Yeah, it's good. It's nice to see an Irishman in France. Like, you know, it's good, something different. It's rarely done, isn't it? So, yeah, he's flying, and he's, you can see that in train already. He's bringing a lot to us, so it's good. Hi, Nathan. Um, have you um, met Brian Kerr before this weekend? Um, me, personally, no, but I think every other member of my family probably has. <laughs> And how have you found him? He's really funny, a uh, good lad, you know, he's telling me stories about my granddad and uh, he's mad, he's, he's good, I'm really enjoying him. Yeah. And um, what do you think he can he can bring to the party, so to speak? I mean, you're, you're a young man um, and this is an opportunity, I suppose, to, to prove yourselves again. Yeah, I, uh, for me, I'm just like a sponger, I'm just soaking in everything he says, you know, he's just, he's full of information, full of experience and everything he says, I'm just glued into what he's talking about. So I think something like that, just gaining as much information as possible. And it's a good week for us, I think. You know, we have a good staff here, you know, as I said, Brian, but then the other boys that are still come in, it's a, it's exciting, really, for me. Um, Shane Duffy out um, and Liam Scales only in the last 24 hours or so. Um, so you have a very good chance of, of starting mm -hmm. these games. Um, how important will it be for you personally? Um, yeah, I want to play for Ireland, of course. I want to do everything I can for Ireland. I want to captain Ireland. I want to do everything, but we want to win. That's the main thing. You know, one game at a time. If it's a friendly or not, you want to win, and it's a good chance for us on Saturday to go get a win. Ashley, Nathan Ashley from Off the Ball. What do you think is the most important thing for this group to get out of these two friendly games? To win. I think it's football. At the end of the day, we want to win. Every game is about winning, no matter what it is. So. As much as experience for lads, as much as it's good for them in the group, at the end of the day, we need to win football games. Has it been hard at times to represent Ireland and not get those results? I wouldn't say it's been hard to represent Ireland. I think it's what I want to do as a kid, so I'll always enjoy that and always take that in no matter what. It's frustrating losing, it's frustrating not winning games, but at the end of the day, it's an honour to obviously play for Ireland and it's the be all and end all is to play for Ireland. But as I said, we want to get win games. There's no Kevin Bruyne in the Belgium squad. What way do you look at that? Obviously, he's one of the best players in the world. Yeah. Are you happy he's not in, or you look at it that it's a you know you want to play against the best in the world? Um, I probably prefer to play against him to be fair, but it doesn't change much for us. Uh, it doesn't change our tactics. It doesn't change what we're gonna do. We're gonna there and try win a game of football. It's simple, but yeah, of course, it's nice that he's probably not playing. <laughs> Gavin. How do you assess your season so far at Brentford? Thomas Frank's book. It's been tough. You know, we've had a lot of setbacks as a team, a lot of injuries, a few ups and downs personally, but I think I've grown again as a player and grown as a person and I'm in, really enjoying it. Yeah. Do you ever feel any pressure or expectation because you've been the most expensive player in Irish history twice and you've been Brentford's record signing as well from right? So, like, do those price tags, is it hard to kind of ignore that at times? Is that really any pressure? Um, I don't really know, so to be fair, no, it's never really come to me. As much as it's a price tag, there's still a lot of more players out there more expensive than me, you know what I mean? So, I'm um, just, it doesn't matter, I'm not, I'm not focusing on that. I just want to play football. I want to just be consistent with it and keep getting better. Neil? Hi, Nathan. Uh, I just asked you with the, the Greece game at home, you were taking off at half time and I'm not picked to start the next match. How a difficult time is that? How does Stephen kind of speak to you around it? And uh, is it just one of those things that you're going to have those, those evenings and how you bounce back? Yeah, that's football, really, isn't it? I, happen, I, I think you can talk to any player in the world, it's happened to them. Uh, Stephen was nothing but great to me. I played nearly 16 games in a row underneath him. He gave me my debut. He gave me everything. So I can't. I could sit here and speak highly enough. And you know, he's given me so much. But that's football. that happens. It's it's not really. A, it's how you 
bounce back from that, how you get better, how you learn, and I prefer if it never happened again, but every chance I could. And is this because you've played as many games you have in the Premier League this season, has this been your best season to date, you feel? Like, and I know it hasn't, but there's been downs as well as ups, but like, is that because of the experience you've accumulated? Is the most growth you've had this year? Um, potentially, yeah. Um, it's hard to look when you're in the moment, when you're in the season, it's hard to see that way maybe, it's hard to see how much I've grown, but I think at the end of when I look back on it, I think just me playing as many games of football, me being consistent, me playing every game, trying to stay fit week in, week out, that's where I think when I'm at my best, when I'm just consistent with it, and that's what I'm looking for now at the moment. But yeah, at the end of the season, I can look back and hopefully it's a positive one. Ed? How you doing? Just uh, wondering about today's first uh, training session with, with John in charge. I just wonder <coughs> what's his, what was his main sort of uh, thoughts on, on, you know, was it was he emphasizing the new beginning or was it was it just more like, you know, like sort of the new of, of what went before? Um, he hasn't really touched on it, to be fair. The first thing he said was that it was a massive honour for him to be manager of Ireland. I think he said without a doubt he took the job. He never second-guessed it. But again, his main point was that we need to go win football games and we're going to do it his way, we're going to listen to him, we're going to do us his tactics and the lads and we're going to go Saturday and play as well we will. And just in terms of the squad, I know the squad is very tight and um, coming into the business end of the, of the English season, um, a lot of competition there between, between us, um, can you all park that and just, you know, and sort of have a laugh about it? Obviously. Yeah, there's a bit, there's obviously a bit of banter flying about, you know. I was giving some Andrew some stick about his points deduction, you know, but he's taking it well, he's giving me stick. It's natural, it's normal. I think me and Shane, you know, have been in the relegation for like three years in a row now. <laughs> we joke about that, but football is so hard, you know, and it can change in a few games. So we're here together as a team. We're Ireland, we're, we play for Ireland, we're still teammates here, and then when we go back to our clubs, we can be enemies again. Um, I can just ask you a little bit about um, John Shane He's only interim manager. You're probably aware of that, just the two, two games, these two big matches. Um, if you had a say in it, and things went well. Do you think you should get a chance at the full time? You might have to ask me that question next week after the two games. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't played yet, so we'll wait that. From what I've seen now, we're really enjoying it. The lads are buying into it. The lads and the coaches, everything's full on. You know, it's a high tempo. It's it's a competitive uh, training sessions. And as I said, we're going to trust him. We're going to go there and play Saturday as as he wants us to play. And just again, the team has gone since November. Are you, are you surprised there hasn't been a permanent point in the March, middle of March? I don't know, I haven't really thought. I've had a few of my own problems back at the club, so... <laughs> uh, listen, football, it's an awkward game, it's hard. They said, I trust them, you know, you have to trust them. If I didn't, then I wouldn't be here, so it's up to them. I trust I trust whoever they put in front of us, and I know at the end of the day, they'll do what's right for us. Any further questions? John? Um, two years ago, you played Belgium, and um, I think you're when you started breaking into the squad, you come on, I guess, uh, like, you're two years on, a lot more experience. Um, you look at their strike force, I know Lukaku isn't around, but I think this is another stepping stone for me. Or do you just, that lens go out the window for you now to stay? I don't know, it's, it's, you obviously look at who you're playing, I do the same thing every match, I look at my clips of individual players who I'm playing against, what they like, what they don't, but I think when you get to a certain level now, every player is good, you know what I mean, you can't, you can't predict you're going to be better than someone on the day, every player is good and they all have their own style of play, so I just have to play my own game, watch them, learn from their clips and just try to keep them quiet as possible. Thank you very much. Cheers lads, thank you.